All right, guys, this is the one video I've been wanting to do for a while now. And again, thank you to Brown Nails for being a part of the channel. They are one of the main biggest support of the channel right now. So make sure to check the link down below to check out all the good stuff they have going on over there and what they have available. Now, this has been out for a while. And yes, I think I'm in love with this thing right here. Now, the cool thing about this, it does work on your standard lower ARs and um, they do have their own uh, specific uh, lower for them as well. Now, with this one being the standard lower, you are going to necessarily need a Picatinny um, uh, attachment for the bag if you want to attach a brace or it's, um, whatever brace you want to put. Now, this one's going to be the uh, SB Tactical Folding Brace here. And this is typically for the AK, but it does work with anything that you have Picatinny attached here. And the cool thing is, again, as you can see, it folds and retains real well, just fine. So it makes it a little bit smaller compact, put on your backpack if you got one very large enough and everything like that. So again, just a standard lower that I had uh, for my pistols here. And I just took the buffer off, the buffer spring and everything, and the detent and everything comes off. Don't need that because this system is a uh, gas piston operated system. So all inside here is all the internal springs and everything that you need in the bolt to operate the way it does, even fold it up the way it is, and it makes it real compact. So the brand 180S, now this is gonna be the pistol configuration, 10 and a half inch barrel, 223 wild with the uh, muscle brake right here. And it does have a, adjustment gas block here where you can turn it to if you want to suppress it and everything else uh and everything cool but the cool thing about this is m lock which i like m lock and it does have a bolt down here that makes it easy to remove this handrail off and you need to service it or anything else clean it whatever uh it makes it a lot easier to detach so that's new then this is the new version here and the cool thing about it again it's char char size charging handle can't talk today I'm so excited about this that it can be taken down pretty easily. Again, I don't want to take it down here on the field, lose anything, but it's very simple system again with the buffer and everything. Uh, it does have a dust cover. Now there is a pros and cons to this again, just like anything else that I have had in the past. But the cool thing about this, it makes it a lot uh, compact type firearm. And again, this is considered a pistol. Uh, run the ACSS uh, micro prism here from primary arms review coming for that very awesome optic uh but <clears throat> other than that it shoots well i haven't had any malfunctions at all um <coughs> i ran brass and steel case that eats anything that i have put so far that i have available to my uh to i have available right now so cool thing about this is again it makes it very very nice soft shooting firearm very it, it just works just fine i'm telling you it's very accurate that too i just slapped this red optic up there and it was right on point i had to do no maybe slight adjustment but other than that i haven't put it on paper but i will do so but anyways um again they do have the lower uh from primary on so this is basically a um back to the ar-18 uh back in the days when they uh eugene stern came out with the ar-18 for the military and it wasn't something that it didn't go through, um, but I'll post a picture here what it supposed to look like, and then what the brand else did with them, modernize it a little bit more, make it a lot cooler. And again, um, I have some rail covers here to um, make some more comfortable and everything, but other than that, it has uh, cuts all the way around. Nice full rail, again, all the way Picatinny rail and everything. Um, Got the cutout here for your bad lever if you have one extended one it does have this rubber pieces uh screw in here so if you have again a brace or something it doesn't uh hit it and it keeps it from uh hitting the receiver upper receiver and getting scratched and everything but this is the way to go here so anyways uh we're gonna take a few shots here again uh follow that i can and try to hit the steel target run by everything um i want to appreciate brian else again for sending this Modicum for those guys and again uh thank you to the new sponsor as well for ammunition that'll be uh Natchez supplies check those guys out it was kind of enough to send so ammunition for the channel that's the best way to really support us by using the 
links down below for anything you see on this video so enough talking let's take a few shots have some fun and give my opinion and pros and cons about this so stay tuned all right guys we're about 30 yards or more or something like that uh I want to say thank you to Go Mac Warehouse. Again, I'll put the links down below if you look at magazines. Uh, this is our Lancer magazines here for the AR, and I really like these magazines. So, we're running some uh, Wolf 223. Let's run it through, make sure it runs, just like I said, and uh, take a few shots. So, here we go. I tell you, this combination here, this build, you will not go wrong with it. I'm telling you, this Brand 180S is accurate as hell. I'm telling you, this might be my go-to right here. I'm telling you, uh, 10 and a half is the perfect size, in my opinion. So let's step back a little more and see if we can hit some more rounds down range. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but target is about right here. Hard to see on camera. So I say we're about 50, 70 yards, maybe so, something like that. And uh, we're going to run the rest of this Wolf 223 steel case and see if we can hit it. Again, I haven't adjusted the red dial and thing, so give me a little, little break here, see if I can hit it. But we'll see. All right, stand by. Here we go. All right. Well, guys, I'm not the best shooter, but I'm telling you, this is a accurate upper here, and I really, really enjoy it. I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. I know Brian Nelson this to me to try it and everything, but I'm telling you, I don't know what else to say. It's uh, I managed to see they do have this, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, 300 blackout. That definitely is going to be a nice upper uh, to have if you have suppressors, which I don't. I don't have any suppressors, uh, but hopefully in the future we'll get into that. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's uh, let's try to step back a little more, about 100 yards, uh, standing, and uh, take a few shots. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we have stepped back a little further. You can see my car is getting smaller, so we definitely about 100 yards here. And we're going to take a few shots the, with the Brand 180 here from Brownells. And let's see what we can hit. So uh, this time, got some brass ammunition, 5.56. Five, let's see what we can do with it. All right, here we go. Hope I got you on camera here. So I did hit a few times, there's again, I'll pan here. I wiggle a little bit, but that red dot, that reticle is perfect. But we're here for the brain 180. Guys, I'm serious. Uh, this is the way to go here. Uh, very nice, clean, uh, especially if you're running suppressed, don't have the charging handle right here. The gas blowing up in your face. So it makes it a lot easier and comfortable to shoot. Uh, as far as the handguard, it does get a little warm. Uh, that's just typical in short barrels like this. It's gonna get warm. Now, as far as the muscle break, now it's, it does the job, but it's not my favorite. That's one thing I don't like. Uh, it does put the fireball. Uh, maybe have switched it up for something else. So it'll kill the flash and everything, the fireballs, whatever, but that's typical with short 
uh, you know, this type of short uh, configuration on. Everything else works just fine. Just that typical AR style. All your, fun, you know, your uh, your safety, your button, everything. All this the same, just like your standard AR. And again, uh, Brian Nails does have their own uh, lower for this that will match perfectly. But if you don't want to go that way and you already have a lower, just go to the KNS Precision. They do have this uh, that, uh, attachment here for your brace. If you want to put a brace uh, or you want to SBR it, whatever it's whatever flavor you want to go with but this is the way to go uh definitely like the system very clean again it is going to get a little warm uh it is warm out here too about 80 degrees uh but after shooting it while it does get a little warm i can feel a little bit but i can still put my hand on it uh so it's not burning me i uh, get some rails that will help a little bit but at the same time you don't want to cover it and uh you know keep the airflow there to cool down the burrow and everything else but uh yeah that's that's pretty nice let's shoot some more and then step to my vehicle give my opinion again and uh yeah go for there. so stay tuned all right guys uh we're gonna put about 10 rounds five on each target just to get an idea what kind of grouping we get uh nothing fancy got some 556 five, and some 223 two, wolf ammunition here we're gonna start with the wolf and we're about 25 yards from the target or maybe a little more and we're going to use this micro prism from primary arms review coming soon on that so uh we're going to try our best to put five rounds in one target and five rounds in another one and we're going to take a look and see what kind of grouping we get here all right here we go five rounds of the wolf ammunition we're going to start Left side, target. All right. Now the five, five, six. Go to the right hand target. Five rounds in the middle. All right. We are out. So, let's go see the target. All right, guys. On the left side, it's going to be the um, wolf. Five groups there. Not bad at all. About an inch, maybe two inch. And then on the right-hand side, we got right there. And that's going to be the brass ammunition, 5.56. Five, one flyer there but pretty decent uh not bad at all at 25 30 yards or so again just to give you an idea how accurate this brn 180s is really like it all right stay tuned all right guys you see the brain 180s again this is the two to three wild ten and a half inch burl one and eight twists and i tell you it's very accurate uh, especially like me i'm not a <laughs> not the best shooter so being offhand at 100 yards taking shots like that uh especially with this red dot optic which review coming soon for that the 180 is very accurate in my opinion um i i don't know what else to say it's just something that um it's worth a penny they do run about eight to nine hundred dollars, um, so make sure to check mine below. But they do stay out of stock a lot because they're very popular. Ten and a half is the way to go. Again, if you want to make it a pistol or you want an SBR, that'll be a great, great, great system to carry. Gas operated, uh, adjustable gas block, like I said. So if you want to put suppressor, change the uh, muscle device, uh, you can do that. Again, they come also in the standard sixteen inch and five, five, uh, two to three wild again, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they do make the 300 blackout in this 
size as well. So yeah, uh, I'm very impressed. I tell you, um, this is very lightweight as well. Um, but I'll put all the specs down below to this upper. Again, this is just the upper. You can buy separately. Uh, as far as the lower, you can, if you can catch them on stock, they do have, again, their own lower that will match with this upper, but you can use any standard air controls, uh, regular standard trigger and all that stuff. Everything works. Again, you just have to take the buffer, get the KNS precision, um, lower receiver attachment, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> with the Picatinny, Picatinny rail on the back, which uh, this will be able to attach to it. And again, this is the SP Tactical foldable um, brace. It's not a stock. Again, it's a brace. It is a little flimsy, but it gives you another point of contact to have for, um, you know, fire and whatever. And I think I got my optic on here. Okay. Anyways, um, as far as the brand 180 goes, is, this is the Gen 2 version again, because it has that screw in the bottom to be able to take the handrail off uh, nicely and easy to maintenance, whatever. And yeah, I'll put some pictures of the bulk here because I don't want to take it out here. It's still kind of warm, <laughs> but it's very easy to take down. Again, you can, uh, now this one's going to be real tight. It was real tight to this receiver. Uh, depending, I'm not sure about billet, but this is your mill, uh, your standard AR-15 receiver. Uh, this is a Palmetto State Armory lower. lower. So it was, it was a little tight to get in, uh, but again, after using a while, I'm pretty sure it'll wear out, but I'm sure other receivers are gonna be a little bit less, more uh, play, but everything, it fits good, no no gap in between and everything. Now, pros, everything good and everything. Cons, again, cons in my preference, the muscle device, I would change it, something differently, <clears throat> in my opinion. Uh, it does work, it keeps the muscle down, and flat shooting. So, I mean, it does the job. It's just not my preference. I'll change it to something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> some concerns about the dust cover. As you can see right here, it's got a big opening here that you have a chance to get debris, dirt, and everything else. But there is a video out there where people have put mud, dirt, and everything, and it functions just fine. So the system does function. Of course, after a while, it will fail. But anyways, <clears throat> very easy to maintain. Again, open it up like a standard AR, take this piece off and all your internal comes out together pretty much. And then you can maintenance and clean just like standard, put it all in, the charger handle comes off. I'm not sure if many people like this. The only thing about this, you gotta be more, you gotta be, uh, <coughs> excuse me, taking consideration when you have side charging handles, depending on what red dot mount you have, if you have something that sticks out far, that is gonna interfere with your charger handle or get your knuckle scraped, that's not gonna be fun at all. That's the only concern. You have to make sure you have something that's flat enough and it's out of the way. So when you come charge this handle, this uh, charge handle, it's not gonna rip your knuckles right here on your red dot mount or scope mount, whatever you have as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, that's the only cons is the this doesn't stay up too well. I don't take much to fall down, as you can see. Uh, it is polymer, plastic. Um, I don't know if the D10 is wore out, whatever, wears out pretty quick, but I hope they, they upgrade to a metal one or something better for this. I mean, I'm not sure, but uh, that's the only way you'll keep this in internals from getting debris and everything, just in case, but they don't take much where well, it's not doing it now. It don't take much for the cover to pop down anyways. But other than that, again, that's pretty much it. I think I'm talking off. Thank you to Brownell for sending the upper here, the Brain 180S Gen 2, 223 Wild 556, whatever you want to call it, uh, for these awesome build here. I think this is going to be a great firearm for your trunk, bug out, whatever. Again, you can fold it and have it stowed in your backpack or somewhere in your trunk or whatever. <clears throat> maybe excuse me so yeah that's pretty much it again check out brown nails uh check out gun mat warehouse as well for uh supplying the magazines again nice magazines the lancers review coming on these pretty soon i'll do a torture test on those see how well they hold up but and also 
uh, the ammunition supplied by Natchez here as well. So check out those three major companies for being a great uh, sponsor or supporter of the channel, however you want to say, whatever you want to call it. But I appreciate those guys again. Let me know what do you want to see from Brown Nails um, and then see if I can make it work. Uh, make sure to uh, follow them as well. Follow me on all social media. So now you're missing out on the coming videos. And uh, try to do a giveaway once a month. So again, like, share, subscribe, turn notification bell on. There is a join button on this channel as you can see below. That's the best way to support channel uh, as far as revenue. YouTube does not pay me nothing at all. All my videos are demonetized, so I don't get no revenue. Only way is by using the affiliated links, which don't cost you anything. And that helps the channel bring revenue to put it back in here and bring you some more content and be able to keep going what we're doing here. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Make sure to check out Brown Nails, go to my warehouse, and that's just for all your supplies and everything else that you may need. And thank you as usual, and I'll see you the next one. Goodbye.